Hey, what's up, fam? Saw this article and I figured that I would talk about it uh, a little bit. Just see if anybody had any any insight they wanted to give this. Apparently, the the largest uh, illegal manga website shut down in Korea. And I was a little bit curious about this because I know that there are well, one. There's a there's so many online uh, comic websites for both for really for uh, across the board of. Uh, countries so other people can read them i i'll get into kind of my opinion towards that near the end but uh i wanted to kind of look at this really quick apparently the website uh, established in 2013 and they've uh, they've made seven million dollars through advertising Ugh. so there there are parts of this that i am i i really for and there are parts that i'm very kind of against and I'll, uh, like I said, I'll get to that kind of at the end. Uh, according to Nichio Shinbun, President Park and other managing staff began to uh, need to shut down activities related to uh, the website two weeks prior to its closure. Uh, they started to stop translating, uh, stop putting stuff out, and uh, anything kind of related to them, they they stopped doing. They they kind of saw this as says to after a uh, a similar uh, website, uh, Bomb Toki faced uh, other charges and you see that uh, a guy a 43 year old programmer ended up getting sentenced to two and a half years uh, of prison with hard labor and that they have to pay uh the equivalent of eight hundred and eighty three thousand dollars uh in damages as well as uh, another one that has to pay uh eight hundred and thirty nine thousand in damages and it's yeah, man, that's pretty crazy. The some of those those numbers that they have to, they're gonna have to to stick up. I mean, it looks like they they could afford it after all the money they've paid for it. But Jesus, like some of those are probably gonna they're gonna really hurt. And looks like they're they're hitting multiple places over there. And I I don't really know how I kind of wanna to go about this. The way that I I, I feel about reading manga and comics I, I i don't want to talk about comics i'll just get to manga because you know the people here are here for manga and I, I you know i'm a manga guy is when it comes to reading stuff if you can't read it anywhere like it if it's for say hey i can go buy you know buy this manga six months from now or i could read the chapters now and if i like it i'll buy it the volume later because I'll, I'll say this like I read a lot of my manga online off websites, but if I end up liking it, then I will, you know, I'll buy the volumes like any other one. I'll, I've spent, a, I own a couple hundred volumes, and I plan on getting more. The only reason right now I don't have more is because I don't have the room. I should have the room within the next couple months, but, you know, that's just the only kind of uh, limitation right now. And it's, it, you know, I, I look forward to getting more. There's definitely some series I've picked up. Uh, there are series that I would love to add my collection that just don't come to America and I wouldn't know about it if it wasn't for translation websites. You get stuff like uh, Mushi Bugyo or Neji Maki Kagyu. If those came over to America, I, I would buy the volumes in a heartbeat because I really like those series and I haven't been able to, I haven't been able to finish uh, like the second half of Neji Maki Kagyu because the, the translations stopped and I can't, get the I can't get the volumes in English and then Mushibogi I can only read it through not even read it, I can just look through it in the Japanese raws and not understand really what's going on without guessing. But when it comes down to stuff like uh obviously if you've been on my channel I'm a big fan of fairy tale and all I buy the uh the Japanese issues off the off the the inter this website off uh I think it's manga pocket you know, I'll, I'll, I buy them every week, and then I'll review somebody who's translated them, and then I, I've already said it. Once they come to America, I'm buying the volumes, and it's and it's that way for anything that I'm a, a big fan of. And I, I, I kind of support that when it comes to uh, the volumes and the, the series in general. If you're a fan of it and you really like the series of whatever is your reading, you know, support it the best you can. That way they can keep going, but uh, when it comes to certain things, like... If, stuff that wouldn't 
we you would never know about it if, if it wasn't for translation groups. Like that's the only time I can really say to to read them online for sure is if you can't afford them, but you you know, plan on it later and you want to try stuff out. Uh, versus uh, the idea of if you otherwise would never be able to read them because they they don't come to America or you know wherever you are. Then it's like, what else am I gonna do? Uh, I want to read this, but if I don't read it online, I'm never gonna get to read it. I mean, that's one of those situations where I'd say, like, yeah, go for it. Like, if if, if you really want to read this and they're not giving you the option to, you know, pay for it legally, then yeah, just find somewhere to read it. It's gonna exist somewhere on the internet. But when it comes down to, like I said, to pay for official release, if you really support it, then yeah, pay for it. Like I own, like I said, the I own every fairy tale volume in English, and I'm gonna keep buying Hundred Years Quest, the Happy uh, Happy Adventure. Uh, the city hero, anything that comes over to America, I'll, I'll add to my collection. I'm pretty happy about it. So, it, it's a little bit rough uh, when it comes to stuff like this. Like, obviously, it, I think that if these guys are making seven million collectively over five years, I mean, as long as they're buying, I would say as long as like they're they're giving back, they aren't just pocketing everything. Like, I don't know, maybe they're buying the digital volumes and then putting it on their website at least. So people can read that, you know, HD high quality like official translations. I don't know. I don't know the business. I didn't. I never went to that website. But, geez, it's it's very unfortunate when it when it comes to this because maybe there's stuff over in uh, in Korea that those guys are never going to be able to read because of these uh, lack of websites. But I don't know. Uh, in in that regard, I would say, like I said, support official release if you enjoy the series and you know you you truly enjoy it. But Sometimes you you, you got to be able to try stuff without having to, you know, to spend $10 to get a volume. That's one of the reasons I think manga does better a lot uh, overseas than a lot of American comics is because you, thanks to online stuff, you can try something out and get a feel of it and be like, yeah, I like this. I'm going to, I'm going to support it. I'm going to, I'm going to buy the volumes versus like, I'm not going to walk into a Barnes and Nobles and say, I don't know if I like this. I'm just going to spend $10 on a on one volume. And that's like, well, now I don't like this. Like if you end up just not liking the series, you just spent $10. When are you going to uh, go back and, and do it again? It, it, it stacks up a lot heavier than, uh, than with American comics, but it's easier to try and read them online and then really give them a go. And, I mean, you could buy. There's only a couple like big magazines that you could buy translated, and it's unfortunate. But uh, tell me in the comments what you think about this whole situation. They're hunting down all these uh, online manga sites. Uh, what is your take on this? And uh, what do you think? What do you think that they're going to start hitting more, more and more? Do you think it's really going to cause any solution to this? Because I, I think another site just going to pop up and take its place. That's what it seems to be they've been doing with all these online comic and, uh, and and manga websites. But yeah, tell me, like I said, tell me in the comments about your opinions and your take on this. And like the video if you if you enjoyed this. Subscribe to the channel for more. And maybe check out my other videos, do mostly manga and anime stuff. And uh, thank you for those that already subscribed. Otherwise, thank you very much for listening. Bye.